Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today I'm going to show you a Cisco specific tip, trick, great for installs, troubleshooting, and or scripts for the people who like to script stuff like me. So I'm on my Cisco switch here. The command is simply send space log. So we're dealing with your log, which translates to syslog as well. If you are using syslog facilities, this also goes into that whole topic as well. I'm going to try to keep this as simple and brief as possible. So I'm going to type sh log enter you can see there's nothing going on in my log right now so if i was to make a change for example show run interface vlan 99 you can see it says interface vlan 99 description use at your own risk and then the ip address so let's say i had a script that was going to change the description or vlan information whatever it happens to be it doesn't matter in this example i'm just going to change the description manually so what I'm going to do is type send space log and Tony is changing something. How's that? And then I'll config T and interface VLAN 99 and then I'll put description. I'll type the whole thing out and I'll say new VLAN exit right there's dozens of ways of doing this i'm showing you the, the most straightforward way and then i'll type send the log changes completed done so now if i type show log you'll see that it says message from tty1 user id tony is changing something and now depending how you logged in SSH, Telnet, whatever it happens to be, it'll affect that output a little bit, but it'll still be there. And then you can actually see um, what the person did, depending on the level of login that you have. But the key thing here is at the end, you'll see changes completed. So now I've got the date, I've got the time, and I know when my script or the technician was making changes. So it's kind of nice to put that in there as a little notation and that way uh, things work. I like putting the double quote just so it stands out. You don't need to put the double quote. You can just type whatever you like. But again, the double quote just makes it jump out a little bit. If you do have a script later, you can always do a search for double quotes and pull out your own comments. That's it. Hope that helped. Have a good day. Bye for now.